All right, if you've been looking to buy coilovers, one of the biggest differences you're gonna find is the type of dampers that come in the coilovers. And in this video, I'm gonna explain to you the difference between the twin tube and mono tube dampers, which are the two types that you're gonna find in practically every coilover kit and what the pros and cons of each of these are so that you know what to buy because this is going to make a big difference for how your coilovers actually perform and whether they're better for street or for track or a combination of both. So you've got twin tube dampers and you've got mono tube dampers. So twin tube dampers are literally two tubes, which is a tube within a tube that is where the oil sits in the piston goes. Now how these work is this whole section here is damper oil and the piston moves up and down on the inner tube and as it moves down it can push the oil obviously through the piston and then any excess can go up here and then there's gas up here which then further dampens it now usually this is low pressure gas so that makes these typically more comfortable mono tubes on the other hand only have one singular tube as you can see here and they have the piston and this is all damper oil here and then this is gas below it with a separator and this is typically high pressure gas and so that makes these typically more responsive however you feel more through these making them slightly less comfortable obviously depending on how they're set up and, and damped etc but they're more responsive so they're typically better for track so the biggest differences between these are that the twin tubes are cheaper to make because there's less parts as you can see here there's just basically the piston and then the two tubes and then the gas and the oil inside them whereas the mono tubes are slightly more expensive so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make notes of this for you so we can keep track so basically these are cheaper and more comfortable So what you'll find is most cars come from factory with twin tubes, partly because of the cheap aspect, partly because of the comfort aspect. And so the problem with them is that they're not as good for performance. And there's two reasons why. One, the piston is smaller. As you can see here, the width is not as wide as this one because of the inner tube. And so therefore it, it can't, it's not as responsive. It has less diameter to work with. So it's not quite as responsive. You won't get as much feel through it. So that's one of the issues. The second is that these typically can house less oil than the mono tubes, which makes them more susceptible to heating up. And obviously they don't perform as well when the oil heats up. The third issue you have is that the gas is not separated from the oil. There's no actual separator here. And so what happens is under performance driving, what, what happens is the oil obviously you're getting a lot of movement up and down and it's getting hot and stuff and so what happens is this here it can start to foam and so you start getting this happening between the gas and the oil and it's what's called foaming and then the problem you have there is it doesn't do its job properly because the gas is not holding it separate you don't have this issue on monotubes because the gas is only here and it literally cannot escape this this separator moves up and down as the damper moves up and down or as the piston moves up and down and that pushes this down then comes back up and so there is no separation so you basically don't get foaming so these are better for performance so let's add that for that reason they also have more oil so they're they remain cooler so these are more responsive responsive better cooling so they last longer no foaming So those are the benefits of these two basically. Now, again, they can also have the bigger piston, which helps as well from a performance aspect, but basically these are the two biggest differentiators between them. Now, one other disadvantage that you have when it comes to the twin tube shocks is that they cannot be mounted any other way other than upright because of this gas and oil uh, non, not being separated. So if you put them upside down, it's not gonna work because the gas can escape. Whereas with the mono tubes, what, because they're separated completely, that allows them to be installed practically anyway. It can be sideways, can be upside down and so on. Now this is particularly useful for McPherson strut cars. You'll see a lot of coilover companies when they're making track specific coilovers for McPherson strut cars will make inverted monotubes. And what that means is these are actually upside down and at the top of the 
suspension setup. So the actual oil capacity section will be at the top and the piston will be at the bottom, allowing you to run a larger piston, making them more rigid and also shifting the weight up onto the chassis instead of unsprung weight. One other benefit of this also is that the damper oil is now moved away up here, which is away from the heat source, which is usually brakes, which are usually right here. So that helps to keep the damper oil cool as well, which will help it last longer and perform better over you know, extreme conditions, track racing, etc. Whereas with a twin tube, you don't have that option. You cannot mount them upside down, so they have to be upright, and therefore you can't run inverted dampers, which also then adds to this issue of the heating up the damper oil and then causing more foaming and then making it even worse. So that's another benefit of the mono tubes over the twin tubes. What you have is you basically have to decide, do you want cheap and comfort or do you want more performance at, at slight expense of comfort? Now, there are different ways that these can be valved, linear, progressive, etc., which is gonna be a subject for another video. But for this video, basically, the diff you gotta decide, do you want comfort, do you want performance? So with the twin tubes, if you are selecting coilovers for the street and you want more comfort and you're willing to sacrifice a bit of performance, then twin tubes can be a good option. So one example of this is like, Tain, for instance, the Tain Flex Zs and everything below that, they use twin tubes and they are designed with oil that is a bit better for performance. So they can handle some track use, but they won't be as good as mono tubes. However, they will give you more comfort for the street and they're also cheaper. That's why the Tain Flex Zs are quite a bit cheaper is because this will be one of the reasons is because of the twin tube damper. On the other hand, if you want more performance, you want more responsive shocks that can be a bit stiffer, et cetera, et cetera then mono tubes are what you want. They can still perform all right on the street, but they will be a little bit more sensitive and you'll feel a bit more through them. And as a result, they will be slightly less comfortable, but they will last much longer. So if you're gonna be taking your car to the track doing performance driving, et cetera, you wanna use mono tubes. And most, most aftermarket performance-based coilovers use mono tubes. So things like, let's say BC Racing, Olins, all these guys, uh, Fortune Auto, React, et cetera, et cetera. Pretty much all of them use mono tubes for this reason. So that's basically it. That's basically what you need to know between these two and the big differences. Hope you found that useful. If you have any questions about any of this, put them in the comments below and I will answer them. Otherwise, if you're looking to buy coilovers for your car, head over to nefariousracing.com. There'll be a link in the description below. You can grab all your coilovers there. We've got a bunch of brands and coilovers for practically every car. So go check it out there. Send us an email if you need any help selecting anything. So that's it for this video. Catch you on the next one.